Our first show in 2023 is Something Rotten. It's a show that I absolutely love. This, this show was supposed to be our first show back in the space back when we were going to open in September of 2022. And as our construction got pushed back, we ended up having to move this show into January of 2023. It makes fun of theater, it makes fun of musical theater. There's nothing safe in this show uh, that it doesn't make fun of. After the holidays, um, you know, people are just looking for something fun to do. And so even though we weren't able to open in, in September with this show, um, it's still fitting to have this show after the holidays, after the stress of being with uh, families and in-laws and all the traveling to just come and see a show that, um, that again, just doesn't, it doesn't play safe. Every, everything is up for grabs and it's just a great um, night um, out. This is an important show and I think Billy will probably touch on this as well, but a lot of people are looking, not just because of the title, but because it's Theater Charlotte's Renaissance. We're still seeing theaters struggling across this country. We're seeing well-established theaters closing their doors because this struggle to connect with audiences and continue this art form is challenging because of the pandemic. And then we've had this extra layer of the complications from a fire and not having access to our facility. So ultimately, what, what I hope that you all take away from this um, aside from memories and friendships is we're all in this together. We're gonna have really good days and some of times we're not gonna have so great of days. We're gonna walk in here and we're not going to be at our best and that happens. But what I hope that you can find time within all of those experiences is to step back and think about how fortunate we are, how blessed we are to have this space, to have this opportunity to perform and not take it for granted. I can't say enough about our production team to work with uh, Billy Ensley and Lisa Blanton and Ellen Robeson. It's a top-notch team. They've all worked together uh, for many years and they just bring out the best in people. They bring out the best in their cast. They demand a lot of their production team, of the crew, of the designers. But at, at the end of the day, when you when you look at what um, what they're able to do and what they're able to put together, you just can't imagine it any other way. Um, they just find the perfect cast to um, fill all of those roles and they've just produced some magic on the stage. So I'm just thrilled to have Billy and Lisa and Ellen at the helm leading this, our grand reopening <laughs> with Something Rotten. Hello, my name is Billy Ensley and I'm the director for the production of Something Rotten. I came to Theatre Charlotte in middle school or junior high school for a school field trip. Fell in love with the place, stayed busy in school, but wound up uh, as a young adult doing my first production here in the early 80s. I performed here throughout uh, the 80s, 90s, and into the 2000s, and started directing here, I believe, in the mid-90s. It is exciting to direct Something Rotten for several reasons. One, the show is extremely funny. It ran almost 800 uh, performances on Broadway. It is new, which is, makes it very exciting because the vast majority of our audience will have never seen the production before. So that it's new, that it's extremely funny, it uh, references musical theater and it references Shakespeare. So it sort of pokes fun at musical theater, the art form, and it also pokes fun at Shakespeare. So if you are a purist and not a musical theater person, you're going to find that funny. If you're a musical theater person, you're going to find it funny that, that about the Shakespeare stuff. You know, not everybody gets to be on stage and perform and present art, a, a mirror of humanity to the rest of the world. And I believe that we are blessed. And I believe that we're so lucky. And I believe that we're honored. And so you, you stole that from me. <laughs> that was, that's, that's one of my notes, is I always want you to remember just how wonderful and, and special the environment of creativity in live theater is. Hi, I'm Lisa Blanton, and I am the choreographer for Something Rotten. I have been in Cabaret and Kiss Me Kate in a chorus line 
many years ago. I met Billy Inslee at my first show here, and that was Cabaret. We think it was 20 years ago. Um, and I think I have choreographed almost 30, almost 30 shows here over the last 15 years or so. I didn't know the show before we started working on it. And um, the first thing that I usually do is just listen, put the headset in and listen to the music over and over again. And the first time I heard it, I just laughed out loud. I just loved it from the first, the, the lyrics are so clever. Um, but I didn't realize until I got into the meat of it, ooh, how much dance is in the show. This is a big dance show. So it has been a challenge and super fun. And we have such a great cast that has tackled all of it and made it um, made it just a thrill. Hi, my name is Ellen Robison, and I've been music directing at Theater Charlotte since 2006. I started with Smokey Joe's Cafe. So I am the musical director for Something Rotten, which is this really, really fun show that like took the Tonys by storm in 2015. It's a little bit of every style of music. There is rap, there is rock, there are ballads soft shoe it's really really cool especially for people that know musical theater you'll hear little snippets of everything from annie to rent to evita and so if you're an insider musical theater nerd you're going to find something that you love in this show i have worked with ellen robus and our music director since the mid 90s when she was the uh, resident music director for the opera house theater company at Thalian hall in wilmington north carolina and uh, did several shows for her as a performer. And Lisa Blanton, our choreographer, and I started our relationship as fellow performers. We performed in Cabaret here at Theatre Charlotte and performed in Parade uh, at CPCC Summer Theatre. And working with them is primo. Uh, I, they're the tops, and that, there's just no other way to put that. Uh, I often tell people that with Ellen Robeson, no one has more or better experience. And with Lisa Blanton, not only do I get a quality choreographer, but in essence, I have an assistant director. I like working with family. We've worked together so many times, and um, it really is a team effort rather than divided responsibilities. Everybody does their, their role, but we, um, from way before the auditions, we're already talking about the vision, Billy's vision, and we share, he helps us um, understand what he wants, he, it just becomes a team effort. Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay Schrader. I'm so incredibly honored to be here. Um, and I will be playing the right-hand man known as B. My first experience at Theater Charlotte was back in 2017. I actually didn't even live in Charlotte. I'm from Indiana. I was cast in Aida and I thought, wow, I better move here if I'm gonna be in a show in Theater Charlotte. Oh. So I ended up moving here the first week of rehearsal. And I said, I can't be in rehearsal because I actually have to move my life here to Charlotte. Um, so it's really special to be back here years and years later. I'm Jazzy. So this is my first show with Theater Charlotte. It's my like third show ever in life. So I'm incredibly excited to be here and I really appreciate the opportunity to get to even do this because for a long time this was something that I didn't think was possible for me. Hi, I'm Cornelia. I'm playing the role of Portia. Um, this will be my first time uh, working with Theater Charlotte and I am so excited. Thank you guys for the opportunity. I haven't gotten to be in a production in a really long time. I'm just, I'm really excited to like make new friends and memories here. And so thank you guys for, you know, accepting and welcoming me and you're so friendly. <laughs> <laughs> um, hey everyone, my name's Brie or Brianna. I go by either. Um, and I'm new to Charlotte. I moved here in July. Um, so this is my first show here. <laughs> so I'm Kelly Wright. Uh, I'm in the ensemble. Um, I am going to get emotional. I also am an easy crier. Um, so I love this space. Um, so I did a lot of things uh, in the late 2000s, uh, early 2010s. Um, and then I left for college. Um, I came back in the summers, did a lot of stuff here. And then I left for New York. And um, I came back to Charlotte like right before COVID and the fire. And uh, just being in the space again is really powerful. Hi, I'm Paul Leppard. Um, I get to do the role of Robin. I'm just um, ecstatic to work with Billy and Lisa and 
Kathy again. My name is Darren Spencer. I'm delighted to be in the space. I'm honored and so grateful to be among you all. Last time on stage in this space was 1990 in Chicago, starring Pat Hyde. So that was a fun time. <laughs> yeah. That was a minute ago. Just thrilled to have a chance to be back on stage among you. So thank you. Hi, I'm Matt Howie. I'll be Nigel B. The little brother. Hello, big brother. <laughs> um, this will be my second show with Theater Charlotte. First show in this building. So very excited to get to walk that stage with all of you once it's you know up and running. I have to say I'm just very excited to be in this room right now with so many powerhouses. But I know some of you. I don't know some of you. So yeah, it's it's going to be a wild ride. So thank you. Bye bye. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> So well cast. Thank you. Blush. Hi, I'm Dennis Delamar. I have a friendship and a relationship with many folks in this room. As a fellow actor uh, or your director for a show here or other places, and then there's the rest of you that will be my friend. And I can't wait to get to know you and come to rehearsals and give you a big hug after we do get to know each other. What's it like? Oh, really, really wonderful. Really wonderful. I need to learn how to talk about it without crying. Um, it's bizarre, right? Like, you, you got the pictures from the fire and the floor is just like completely falling in. The ceiling is completely destroyed. All the chairs, like everything was destroyed. And it just, oh, we're back, baby. <laughs> so it's like all over everything has people signing from different shows, right? Audrey 2018. How to succeed, I was in that. <laughs> That's the last show I did here. Wow, that was fast. <laughs> <laughs> this is our shop, our shop, because it's mine. I own this shop. No, obviously this is the entire workshop. Not be surprised for you to come in and do work. I'm sure I probably will in all my free time. <laughs> <laughs> and then the women's dressing room. Oh my God, this is so weird. I mean, in the, the best way. Good weird. In the best way. Wow. What is what is this? Yeah, so they, this is a prop? Oh. Yeah. Okay. This is my oven. <laughs> this is my oven. <laughs> this is my stew. This is where I cook my dinner. Oh. It's really complicated. I have to leave my house. <laughs> One time I trapped a mouse in that corner. Yes. You did what? I trapped a mouse in that corner. So you were trapped a mouse, but you're scared of a spider? <laughs> <laughs> you can't, right. That wasn't meant to sound. Right, no. Uh -uh, oh, you, you can catch a mouse, but you were afraid of a spider? Right. I'm like, okay, sorry. I think it's beautiful to see, like, you know, you guys talking about, like, the shows that you, the first ones you did here, right? And then, like, mm -hmm. my wave of, you know, generation, like, this is the last show I did here. And then this new wave of, I've and never done a show here, it, and I'm so excited. There's right? people, this is going to be, like, the 95th season. The 90th. Yeah. This is the oldest community in yeah. North Carolina. Yeah. But just think, there's people dead and gone that had stories. This meant something to them their whole life. Yeah. Yeah. We're still here, though. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> I'm here. All right. Well, yep. I'm glad we're going to do another one together. Mm -hmm. Theater Charlotte continues to thrive because of the extremely talented people in our community who dedicate their time to the arts. Over the years, there have been thousands of people in the building at Queens Road across hundreds of shows, and some of them have gone off to spend some time in the Broadway spotlight. We were happy to get to interview Renee Rapp, who began acting at Theatre Charlotte and has gone on to play Regina George in Mean Girls on Broadway, star in an HBO Max series, and just recently finished her North American tour for her debut EP. What's up, I'm Renee Rapp, I'm 22, and I am an artist. I grew up in Charlotte, and I grew up doing musical theater, and I grew up doing theater and <laughs> many, many other things at Theatre Charlotte, pretty much my entire childhood. And it was where I did my first musical ever. My Well, my first show ever and my first show at Theatre Charlotte was Annie. Um, I was 10. And then what did I do? I did a lot of like the summer shows. I definitely did Beauty and the Beast. I definitely did uh, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. That was a big win. I did 
Sweet Charity, I think. I did, wow, I've done so much there. Oh, I did Spring Awakening and, oh my God, probably so many other things too that I like can't remember. But yeah, I've done a lot there. Theater Charlotte is inspiring. The coolest thing for me as a kid was I was, I felt like at least that I was more like outside of the theater scene and I really wanted to be friends with everybody because I looked up to them so much. And I think like Theater Charlotte created a space for a lot of really, really, really talented people and a lot of talented kids who I looked up to, um, to go and perform so I could go and watch them and learn from them. And there were so many people who like I'm friends with now who like don't even know that <laughs> I used to go to their shows and watch them and just try to like emulate everything that they did. So it really opened a space for me to get inspired. The first show that I remember just in general was doing Annie. Well, that's the first show, but I watched Grease as a kid all the time all the time oh my god i was so in love with everyone in that cast i love that movie but my first show ever was annie and so that was what i what i listened to but i was never a kid who listened to musical theater like soundtracks and stuff my brother does now and now i do sort of with him oh my god i was probably 14. i remember being I'm actually, I'm not a great person to like attend theater and watch theater because I have a really terrible suspension of disbelief. Like it could be anybody. And I'm like, I'm in a theater. Like, <laughs> I don't know why, probably ADHD. But I think that when I saw something rotten, I was just so amazed by the production value and by how big of a thing it was I, it really was like it was just like a lot to take in and so I was like holy shit I was like there's so much going on on stage I was like so overwhelmed um but in a really really great way and it was very impressive and I love Ryan Darcy James so I was so excited to see it but yeah I feel so bad for myself in high school I feel so bad for that I I treated her terribly um, terribly and I let a lot of people treat me terribly and I'm sure I also treated other people terribly um, but I, I for the longest time like beat myself up I spent the two years after high school like hating myself like I used to come home to Charlotte and be like so afraid to like be here I was like I was horrible I'm horrible I, I don't know I don't know why <laughs> it's 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 weird so I kind of have like let it go and I'm very glad I let it go because I think I finally sort of like found myself in a lot of those ways. I don't think, I think this is the first year that I'm like not really letting anybody walk all over me. And a lot of people are really not happy about that. I've, I've lost, not lost, I've just changed a lot of my circle around me and a lot of the people who I trust or don't professionally because I'm no longer shrinking so someone else is comfortable and I'm no longer letting somebody walk all over me just because they work for some corporation or because I think that they have a hierarchy above me that's not happening anymore and that's made a lot of people uncomfortable and that's made a lot of people no longer be a part of my life I am so incredibly fine with that I'm so incredibly fine with that I think like a great thing about like my generation for better or for worse is that I am inspired by people my age and people younger than me to not take somebody's shit be just because they're older than you like I think especially growing up in the south like the biggest thing was like you know respect your elders and don't get me wrong like, I don't like go around like disrespecting my mom like she, she would murder me but I'm saying like people who disrespect me in a business sense and think that I am replaceable and have that sort of mentality that like oh like she's an object she can be thrown around we can put her in this role we can put her on this stage we can take her off that stage she doesn't have anything I don't succumb to that anymore that is not how I go about my business. That is not how I go about my life. And I'm so glad that I have the agency and the space to be able to say that. So I understand that is a, a fucking box to stand on in and of itself. But that's been the biggest thing in like growing up and maturing is like the people who are around me have drastically changed. And I respect myself a whole lot more. And I respect a whole lot of other people a whole lot less, happily. It's so important.
to support local PR. It's, it's so important. More more important than I probably ever realized. Because I think like Charlotte specifically has such a deep theater like cult. And it's very intimidating. And I'll be so incredibly expeditiously honest right now. It is so scary. I have never been more afraid in my life than I was doing theater here. Because it's 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 intense. The people here are intense in the best way. And there are so many incredibly talented and like driven and thoughtful people. So I think like it's 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 important to support local theater and local artists just because like supporting local theater and local artists that were 10 years older than me gave me someone to look up to so that now hopefully if someone wants to someone 10 years younger than me can have me to look up to hopefully you know super important and like started my career to watch our full interview with renee rap visit our website or our social media and now let's get back to the renaissance we're going to try to do about 13 numbers tonight mm-hmm. they're not going to be fabulous but get them in your head. So it's a broken up arpeggio and we're gonna get your jaw loose. Tension is the enemy of the singer. Tension anywhere in your body, in here, in here, anything. So you always wanna stay nice and loose on your tiptoes, everything very relaxed so that the air can travel up. And again, the ballerina thing where the, the string is coming out of the top of your head. If you're singing like this or like this, it makes it harder for it to happen. It's probably the most contemporary show I've done with them, being so new. I've done a lot of the older style musicals, and we are trying something different. Uh, we are going to be doing it with tracks. So I'm coming in, I'm teaching all the harmonies, all the parts, and then I will hand them off and they will do it with this fantastic track that has a full orchestra on it. So I'm kind of excited to hear that. Welcome to the Renaissance With poets, painters, and pontifas And merry minstrels who stroll the streets of London A strong and their loose Hi, my name is Joe McCourt, and I am playing Nick Bottom. Hi, my name is Matthew Howie, and I am Nigel Bottom. So my first experience with Theatre Charlotte was in 2008, and I played Jesus in Godspell. And I have since done a handful of plays here, including Rent, Jesus Christ Superstar, Avenue Q, 25th Annual Spelling Bee. So there's been a ton of fun roles that I've been able to play here at Theatre Charlotte, which I'm so thankful for. So this will be my second show with Theatre Charlotte. The first one that I did was a year ago, I believe. It might have been longer, but it was The Fantastics, where I played Matt. What I like most about Something Rotten is that it's such a funny show and there's so much dancing, it's so much fun and I wish I could kind of sit out there and watch us perform just because it's it's been a, a blast. Well, for starters, it's hilarious. If you like musical theater, if you have a, any kind of knowledge on the history of musical theater or any kind of knowledge of musical theater shows in general, more than likely there will be a reference that you yourself will get. It's funny, it's got a good message. Um, and it's it's wholesome you know it's just it's like theater to make fun of theater but it's not being mean about it you know it's not at the expense of anybody except everybody involved and that's why it's okay we want will 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 thank you thank you thank you is it good to see me or what thou am a lovely am a tender and the rough wind shake the darling buds of May, yeah. And summer's lease. And all too short a date. I adore the adoration, though others may appall it. It's quite the new sensation. What shall we call it? Willpower. I am the will of the people he now. He is the will of the people now. Willpower. I am the will of the people he now. Is the will. Can you feel it? Well, I'm feeling it. Hello, Mitchell Dudas. I am playing William Shakespeare. 
This is my third production with Theatre Charlotte with uh, about a 18 year time span. So I did some in high school and was away for a long time and finally made my way back. My name is Kevin Roberge and I am playing Thomas Nostradamus. I have done, I believe this is my fifth or sixth show on stage here. Um, started in 2006, um, came back in 2009 with appearing naked on stage in the Full Monty, or as my wife used to call it, Much Ado About Nothing, and uh, went on to uh, do The Adams Family and a couple of other fundraisers here too. I think for me, uh, my favorite part about this show is knowing that my parents are going to enjoy coming to see it because they love a enjoyable, uh, carefree, fun musical, which this definitely delivers on all of those. I, I would say uh, favorite moment's gotta be the number musical. It's, it's a great number to sing, but my gosh, the ensemble in this show, uh, it's amazing all the different things they have to do and how much uh, energy they add to that number. Just such a, a, a wonderful number to be part of. Well, I think my favorite number in the show would have to be, and it, I think it's obvious for those that know Something Rotten, is called a musical, simply because it is basically Nostradamus uh, informing our lead, who's a, a struggling writer, about a new concept in theater where you put songs into the play. And a musical is a huge number in Act One, and it references in very short snippets musicals from our American history, and it is just very, very funny. <laughs> and sweet romance, and happy endings happening by happenstance. Bright lights, stage fights, and a dazzling chorus. You want to be great, then you got to create a musical. You can go see a drama with all that drama and pain. Or go see something more relaxing and less taxing on the brain. Go see a musical, a musical. Today was the first day of rehearsals in general. We did music today, went through a ton of music. Um, this is day one and everybody sounds like we've been working on music for a week and uh, it's just great, it's incredible. Welcome to the Renaissance. That's the opener for the show. So I guess a little bit of pressure, uh, but it, it really kind of paints the, or sets the tone for the rest of the show um, and, and draws people into this time period um, for, for which you know uh, something rotten takes place. So it's, it's exciting. So. This is my first experience with Theatre Charlotte, so I had no idea what to expect. I honestly, I was just overwhelmed by how incredibly talented everybody was, how focused everybody was. And with this being my first experience, I'm just so grateful to be in the same room with these people. Kevin Roberge got up and did a musical. This is the first time we'd ever heard him sing this absolutely killed it. I was on the edge of my seat. I can't wait for the show. Well, it was day one of our rehearsals officially. We were working on music. I think we went through about 13 songs today. Uh, Ellen did a great job and it just a great realization that these people here are so talented. Everybody was able to pick up their parts so quickly. It's going to be a fun show. Oh, it's a musical. Gosh, it's just one of the, it's definitely my favorite song in the whole show. And it just, I think that hopefully the audiences are going to love what we're all able to bring to stage on this one.
come and see something rotten at Theatre Charlotte. You will not regret it. You'll have the time of your life, and we can't wait to see you here. We would love it if you would come join us and see something rotten so that you can see me as Will Shakespeare having a fun time up there on the stage. Come see the show. <laughs> I'm just kidding. If you like musicals, if you like to laugh, if you enjoy a good old romp of a time, come on down to Theatre Charlotte to see something rotten. I about said Omelette the Musical. <laughs> come and see the show. We love you. You love us. I mean, maybe you do, maybe you don't. I don't know, but we love you because you're paying to come and see it. Bye. Coming up on the final episode of Theatre Charlotte is Watch as the cast continues to prepare by learning choreography and they learn how to tap from a Broadway actor. We'll get more interviews from the actors and we'll hear from the minds behind the sets and the costumes. And finally, you'll get to see the show open and hear some audience reactions from opening night.